Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation and this is the Binding of Isaac, but more specifically, this is the Isaac Survivors mod for Binding of Isaac, which aims to overhaul the game with a new mode that is basically like, what if Vampire Survivors, but everything was Isaac, you know? Uh, seems like a good idea and a good fit. So in we go here. It has been... A long while since I have played The Binding of Isaac, so, like, bear with me on that. But, yeah, so it looks like we spawn in this big old room here. And every time we kill an enemy, we do get a coin. I see the experience meter in the bottom middle. Uh, and I can only imagine, you know, when that hits whatever the limit we need to get is, then we are going to get the choice of an item. So, hey... I don't know, it just seems like such a natural fit. This is, like... I know that Isaac has, like, greed mode, which you could see is, like, an adjacent to the kind of Vampire Survivor style games. The Arena Survival roguelikes, if you will. Oh! <laughs> I forgot I have the Pog mod on. <laughs> okay. 3% chance to shoot poison tears? Do I have... I don't know if I have it. I have no trinket. Okay. So we can pick up one of these Cursed Eye... Uh... <laughs> No, I know if you... Well, I guess, where would we get teleported? Wait. Where would we get teleported to? Actually, this could be good. Charge, charged wave of four tiers taking damage while partially charged teleports you to a random room. If there's not another room, then that's just good, I guess. Uh, close combat familiar. Deals six contact damage per second. Hitting enemy with a tier has a chance to spawn a fly. I mean, I don't know. Like, it's also part of... This is part of, like, a synergy for Beelzebub. I don't know. I'm afraid that Cursed Eye ruins everything. Okay, so... We do have our D6 to, to re-roll stuff, should we want to. Okay, so that's... You know, hey, that's how that works. So we spawn a little room. I just... I, I was kind of fine with, uh, with this item. Like, I... I'm trying to think of this, like... You can't think of it like normal Isaac, right? Because... It's just a really big room with lots of small... Well, at least I am assuming lots of small enemies. So that puts us in a situation where we really value these things like... You know, spawning flies that are going to go ahead and home in on enemies. Things like that. Oh god, it's 40 experience for the next item though? Like, by the same token, I guess I don't really care that I got the, the poison tears. Oh my god, we almost took our hit there. We do have HP on the ground regardless. So it's not the end of the world. <laughs> There's our t <laughs> tiny chance to get a poison tier. Hip, hip, hooray. Five more kills, we get our next item. I know that there's experience over there. But, like, the spider's movements are so spooky. My reflection, damage up, range multiplier, additional range up. Flight, Isaac's body separates. Taking damage has a chance to trigger the Game Kit effect. I think Game Kit is, uh, it's a invincibility in addition to, hmm, I'm going to reroll. In addition to, like, we get to kill enemies here, like, on contact. Ludovico technique in this big room sounds rough. It turns our tiers into one single big tier that moves around. Uh, let's go ahead and probably get this. Propels herself diagonally around the room, firing tears in her path. I'm going to say sure, just it helps us with getting that um, that transformation. I don't even remember what the transformation is, but I assume it's <laughs> related to a bunch of flies. It's been, like I said, it's been a while. Like, I love Binding of Isaac. I've played a ton of it. But boy, howdy. It's not one that I have, like, a, a thousand hours in, despite loving it so much. Okay. I Okay, the, the fly is actually pretty nice, though. Look at that. Putting absolute chaos down around here. How do I get rid of that freaking black tooth? Ow. Okay. Problems are arising. Problems are arising. Problems are absolutely starting to arise all of a sudden. Lots of enemies. Thank God. Close combat familiar that does damage, contact damage. That actually sounds really helpful. Uh, I don't remember what this coin is. How do we... Is it left control to drop? Yeah. 
The sun card. I'll take this. Range up spawns a lucky penny. I'll take Gemini. I, I think that having this little uh, freak of nature is going to be nice. Kind of like in our close range radius. Yeah. Like for this game? Sure. Again, this ain't Isaac. It's Isaac Survivors, baby. Different game. Oh. Like we need to solve a situation that we normally don't have to solve, which is like how do we deal with like a thousand spiders? I'm imagining that it is going to bump itself up and spawn some different stuff soon, though. I would assume. I Like, I think I saw different enemies in the screenshots. We also have the sun card, worth remembering. Which I believe will damage everything in the room, heal us up as well. Uh, back up to full, so that's something to save for when we really need it. Okay. Turn single consumables into double consumables. When Isaac's coin key and bomb count as equal. Oh, when Isaac's coin. I don't know. Uh, touching enemies turns them into gold. Con do contact damage based off your cold coin count. Cold count. Uh, isn't this going to be decent? Isn't this like busted? Do we take... I can't remember if we take damage for that, though. I'll tell you what. I'm just going to... I'm going to take it for the science of it. Give me health, please. A random pill. What could go wrong? I'm excited. Uh, speeds everything up. That's right. Okay. I think that there was health around here somewhere, and I'm going to really want it because these things are moving crazy fast. The sun. Absurd. Okay. So that's used up. Get a big old experience boost here. If we can get in there. Oh my god. Can we please? Golden razors appeared in the basement. Thanks. Uh, fire rate up. Yes, please. Tears destroy enemy shots. That's not relevant right now. Pop a fly. We could get the, the synergy. Wait. Mimics Isaac's movement on a delay. Fires tears at nearby enemies. Again, like... Just in this game, that seems kind of nice. Sure. Ooh, in this game mode. I know it is Isaac, but like, let's be honest. It's also not. Okay. I'm hoping to see like a hell of a lot more flies going on. Okay. Is the I'm excited effect ever going to run out? Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. We got some flies. We got some flies. Tears move in spirals with high speeds. I'm not sure. I'm going to go down here. Chance to shoot teeth that do a lot more damage. I mean, it's pretty good. Man, in, in this, we're kind of looking for more attack speed or more ways to, like, keep ourselves safe around us. Like, these are very good items. Like, I think that tough love is incredible. Like, for for normal Isaac, tough love, chance to shoot a, a shot that does 3.2 times damage is great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna re-roll this, though. Oh my god, explosivo, chance to shoot a, a tear that explodes dealing your damage. I mean, that could be good. Spawns a random pickup could be nice. Let's get stupid. This is extremely dangerous, and yet it gives us that AoE that I was kind of talking about. Needing. Okay. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure we're not explosion immune, or we're not immune to our own explosions. Oh man. I can't believe that one pill. I turn on that pill and I've got permanent high speed mode on. The flies are going absolutely wild though. Look at them go. Oh my god. I'm going to move away from them because they are. <laughs> the sound is bothering me. We got a boss. It's Ragman. He's dead. <laughs> the hell? Gulp. 
I'm gonna have to turn down the sound effects here. Picks up red hearts on on the floor. Spawn can spawn a black heart. Yeah, all that could be good. When dead, spawn is dark. Judas with a two times damage multiplier. You know, out of this stuff, I will say sure. Like a a revive. Sounds great. Extra spirit hearts. All right, I'm gonna need these flies. Like, what the hell? Where did all this gold come from? Where did all the money come from? Also, where'd my trinket go? Oh, I gulped it. Uh, gulp was like, it's a, I think it made me eat it. So I get the effect permanently. Two tiers at once diagonally. Normally, I would say absolutely no way in hell. Damage up, speed up. But in this, maybe. Yeah, you know, I'm going to try it. Whatever. I'm going to try stuff that I normally wouldn't want to take in regular Isaac. I may not like it here either, but... Like, honestly, I don't even have to play the game anyways. My freaking flies are... are ripping everything to smithereens. Destroy them, boys. I ain't going up there. I think I had the right call on this Beelzebub synergy, huh? Flies are slowly dying here. Oh boy. Yeah, this is like one of those rare scenarios where I think having... Oh, God, is this uh, Pyromaniac? Explosions heal half a heart. I think I have to, right? Tears up is good upon taking damage. Uh, a whole freaking paragraph that I don't feel like reading. Pyromaniac, I'm, I'm down with it. Did I... Okay, E. Boop. Hookworm. Tears move in an angular pattern. We also get a little bit of benefits. Whatever. Why not? Oh, please. Yeah, we actually want to be hit by bombs now. We heal when we get hit by bombs. And potentially Explosivo. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can I please get a pill that makes things slower? Like, just the music is giving me anxiety. I'm glad I have it pretty low. Okay. Oh! I don't know what I gotta do to, um... To get the millions of flies again. Because that was really nice. I think it's just when enemies die, they have a chance to turn into flies, or they do turn into flies. Oh, boy. Oh my god, what is happening? I have no idea, but I think it's good. Explosivo's up there doing all kinds of work. Worth noting that um, money is health in this. Or money is experience in this. Oh my god. So, like, we can get experience to level up with Midas Touch. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to fully go for it, but, like, the fact is it's kind of nice in a way. Oops. To do that, to just take a little bit of hit, we get more experience. Tears bounce off each other and disappear when they stop moving. Oh god, we're gonna create a problem, aren't we? We are gonna create some problems. Oh god. Oh, those are those are bad flies. Those were bad flies. All right, chaotic, chaotic tears, just all over the place already. Okay, this is the Isaac experience indeed that I remember. What is that goo? There's like the the black goo all over the ground that kind of making it tough to tell what's flies and what's or what's spiders and what's not. Want to get in there? Stay back, we'll be fine. Just stay back, we'll be fine. Gemini kind of like secret MVP here. I'll believe you that I got hit just because it's so tough to see anything right now. I'll just say, yeah, you're probably right. You're probably correct. I probably got hit like four times. You're right. I am... Okay, that one I have no freaking clue. I couldn't even begin to... 
guess. <laughs> Couldn't begin to guess. Piggy bank, kind of nice for this. While not getting hit by one to nine explosions, destroys the trinket, drops a key coin, a heart, and random trinket. Taking damage is not required. Tech zero. Your tears are connected with beams of electricity. That do, I mean, we have to. This seems... Incoming, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, hit me, please. Thank you. <laughs> what is this? What is this trash? What have I done? We're going to go ahead and uh, turn down some sound effects. Just a little bit there. Lest they get even more annoying. There's an invisible enemy. You know what? There's a chance that I've been getting hit by those. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that every hit definitely 100% was from an invisible enemy. You can't convince me otherwise. All right. Yeah, the, uh, the extra zapping is very nice. Wait, what? Wait, did I? Okay, did I actually get hit by an invisible enemy? Dirty devil. Here's the thing. If we die, we come back as uh, Dark... Or wait, as Judas? Dark Judas? So we get like a big damage multiplier, so... It's not really that big of a deal if we end up dying. Not really, no, sir. I have created problems for everyone but myself. Ow. Sneaky, sneaky. Back it up. Oh, boy. I'm trying to even think, like, what do we want at this point? More attack speed? Well, I mean, some kind of thing for survivability sounds neat. Or, like, if we could get something that drops bombs reliably, then we actually have, like, complete invincibility. That'd be fantastic. Please. The good news is I am at least slightly getting used to um, places your tears with a charge attack that fires homing spectral fetus tears. What? Five bombs, explosions, concuss, and damage every enemy in the room. Wait, actually, that's actually that's kind of nice. Blank card's good, but like. I'll take butt bombs. It's it's also like a heal. Killing an enemy. Wait, l effect lasts for the current room. I mean, the room lasts quite a while. Oh. So, who knows? Theoretically, it's an infinite room. But maybe... I'm operating under the assumption that... Well, first of all, I'm operating under the assumption that I can see anything, which I can't. Uh, that a room is that. Like, that is a reset. But who knows? Book of Belial? Guppy? Try and go for Guppy, get even more flies. I mean, Book of Belial is great, but taking damage grants the damage up six times per floor lasts the whole floor. I feel like maybe the whole floor lasts forever. Right? Like, I don't know. I'm trying to think about the logistics of, of what's going on. Oh, come on. Give me a speed down. Verp. Gulp makes me consume the trinket. So I'm just going to do that, and then I'll keep this one. Just because I... Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait, this is good, though? We actually like this. Whoop. Should I just let myself become Dark Judas? This is... Bizarre as hell. Yeah, I like this, not copium. 
I know I definitely know where the enemies are. And the bullets. <laughs> what the hell? Whatever. Whatever. I wanted to be hit. Damage up and all that. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, boy. Yeah, I was gonna say, I really want to get in there. Sad Onion. Interesting call. Tears up. Spawn spiders. Speed and range up. I'm like... I mean, technically, probably Sad Onion is probably just the better thing to go for here. Shot speed down. Like, honestly, could be not bad, but... Like, if my... Tears down. Wonderful. I mean, we got a tears up and the tears down, so, like... We're probably okay. I just don't want to fire when I got the bomb down because um, I'm afraid it's going to push it away and then I will lose it. Which I think is a safe concern. What? So we've ate we ate the uh, the oh my god the worm that's giving us the crazy effects. I'm kind of fine with it though. I think the fact that they go through the wall. Yeah, I'm having an impossible time seeing seeing those bullets that are flying over the mangled corpses of a thousand dead spiders and assorted whoo, hooligans. I really want to get in there. I'm doing it. Chance to shoot fear tears, fire rate up. Chance to shoot a needle. I mean, I don't really need single target damage. I'm again, I'm kind of looking for survivability. I'm going to grab this and like scoot it up here. I might be able to keep this regardless. One health up heals five hearts. If you have no bombs, one can be placed at the cost of half of a heart. Oh, wait. Isn't that infinite synergy for Am I not like Quasi invincible. <laughs> ah, yes, gaming. Gaming, gaming. We've got it. We broke it. <laughs> this is, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, here's that. That's the thing is we can miss it by doing that. I'm going back to my corner. Okay. I really want to pick up all this garbage, but everything is just so chaotic. I just like, I genuinely can't see jack squat anymore. Connects all familiars with beams of electricity. I mean, I still have my damage up. That sound. Isaac to pick up and throw rocks, etc., etc. Killing an enemy has a chance to grant damage up. Wait, no, no, no. Zap nearby enemies. That actually sounds good. The battery. Okay, just back it on up. Just move an inch. Move an inch. Let my random tears do a little something. Like, I kind of want to drop my bombs, but, like, I did obviously see that stuff started to go a little bit sideways there for a moment. What? What is... What is that sound? Somebody's eating something up there? He's, like, eating other enemies or something. Okay. Well, see, that's what I was worried about. That's why I don't fire the bullets. I don't think it's actually that safe right now. Like, if I could reliably fire my shots without it moving, my I can't see anything. 
I can't see a single thing! Nary a single freaking thing! Using a pill card rune has a chance to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number one. Range down. Firing occasionally shoots a white creep tier that does double damage. Health up and... I mean, honestly, maybe. Taking damage can make you temporarily invincible. That seems great. With my bomb cheese. Oh, there we go. Wait. Oh yeah, wait, we know we knew this. We knew that this was gonna work in this fashion. So when do I get temporarily in uh, invincible? When doth that happen? Oh my god, this is a bunch Oh I'm in I'm temporarily invincible. Go, 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 get all the money, get all the money, get all the money. Money equals power, actually kind of less good here. Spawns three random trinkets. Taking damage can remove your held trinket and grant its effects permanently. That actually seems not bad for this. But yeah, more damage per money you have is interesting when we lose our money. But we also will be still getting up to like 300 or whatever. God, that sound is driving me nuts. This means we could basically be holding every trinket at the same time. I, I don't know, because, like, we're obviously going to be able to take a lot of damage pretty easily uh, by doing this. Can I? I've eaten my trinket. Flat penny. Uh, when we pick up pennies, we might get a key. That's not relevant right now, but it might become relevant later. Come on. Come on. One of these days. There we go. What is this? Uh, God dang it, man. I hate that sound. Picking up red hearts can convert them into blue spiders. Works even while at full health. May consume hearts needed for healing. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Uh, what's the other one? Killing an enemy has a chance to grant flight for the current room. I don't know if I care, but like, I'll take it. Okay, good. All right, I'm, I'm, I just have to, I have to move. This sound is okay. The sound is absurd. Whoop! Back at it again. Okay, we got, we're invincible for a little bit here. Use it to pick up all the stuff. This is so dumb. <laughs> All right. Because we can use that. We just sit in the corner until we get the invincibility from bombing ourselves, but not actually taking damage. And then we go nuts. Oh, it's Krampus. Sorry, it was Krampus. Oh, Brimstone. That probably ruins everything. Taking damage has a chance to spawn a soul heart. Enemies have a chance to drop a red heart on death. I mean, obviously, Brimstone is Brimstone. But I actually think Brimstone ruins everything. I actually... Genuinely, I think Brimstone ruins what we have. I am now smaller. Okay. Oops. Get the shield and run. We really should just, like... What? Just go Judas style? Enemies explode into tears on death, which inherit the effects of Isaac's tears. Yeah, that seems really good today. Chest, what do you got? Health up. Sounds great. I don't intend to be healthy. Mood. Okay, got our invincibility. We are creating absolute <laughs> incomprehensible garbage on the floor. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe if there's, like, some way we could get, like, a little cleanup ability that happens. Maybe I'm not supposed to be living this long or something. 
Okay, seeing all of these uh, these HP pickups is really, really nice. Gimpy was definitely the way to go. Chaos. Burst for a little bit. Okay, we got ourselves a shield. Got even a soul heart for what it's worth. I don't think that's going to really do anything of note for us. Oh my god, that's right. When we when we get um, Midas Touch, we should, when we get our shield, we should be running into enemies with our face. Okay, so we want to actually, like, literally run... Aww. Oh, we literally want to just run into enemies. Taking damage has a random... Has a chance to drop her heart. Extra heart container. Yeah, I mean, we could, like, get pretty invincible. Three luck towards luck-based tier effects. Got devil. Increases our damage for one room, but like, yeah, I think we're, I think we've kind of like approached unkillableness. Like, I think we have for like a while, but also like even more. Run into enemies. If we kill enemies with our body, we get free money. So we kind of just want to do that right now. Free money, because we can get ourselves back up to full health, right? Stupid. More money is faster level ups. Whether or not that matters, I got no freaking clue. <laughs> oh my god! What is this hell? Key? Uh... Taking damage depletes red hearts before soul hearts or black hearts. That's actually amazing. Health up, heals heart, tears up, shot speed down. Sure. At this point, whatever. Just run into them with our face for now. Yeah, we, we want to lose our red health before soul hearts and all of that. Because soul hearts are kind of just like armor. Very tough to see where the hearts are on the ground, but I know that there are some. I've transcended. I've transcended the need for stats or skill. Thank God. Can you tell what's happening on the screen? Can anyone tell what's happening? What have I done? What have I done? Liver, wait, no, no, I don't want tick. Actually, I can eat tick, I guess. Two health up, full health up, allows Isaac to jump over gaps. You know what, screw it, roll this stuff. Chance to shoot poison tears, poison enemies on contact. Enemies killed by contact have a chance to drop, drop a, a black heart. Uh, reduce all damage taken to half a heart. I mean, it kind of already is, because I guess we're not playing on that mode. So I'll just do this, because now enemies might give a half a heart. So this is removable via gulping. It says so on the uh, on the actual item itself. Please let me eat this tick. Yeah, like I can spawn infinite hell. There we go. Good deal. Hello, gang. Just walk through. Is there an end date? to this occasion here asking for a friend because I think that I am ready for it I think I have indeed transcended the need to care about anything ever again for the rest of the run also how have we not gulped that's what's surprising me the most the fact that I have not gulped whatever this thing is oh my god Still not gulped. I mean, I gulp it when I... Uh... Come on. Is it ungulpable? You might be ungulpable. Health up, red heart up, damage up. What is this here? Black heart taking damage down to one heart damages all enemies in the room. Black hearts and Necronomicon effects deal double damage. I mean, sure. 
like basically things that are going to help us with just um you know survival or like whenever we're getting hit by running our face into an enemy things that help us with those things are going to be good i probably shouldn't have gulped that though now that i think about it now that i think about that cuz we want to remove well no one doing it now i also don't really care but we probably shouldn't have uh, done it that way all right goodbye sorry youtube bitrate you're gonna have a great time taking damage spawn spiders wait sure taking damage does blit is something we will really want technically I think we're probably speed running this at this point safe to say what am I eating like I'm also at some point I should find a way to die so that I can turn into Judas I need to find <laughs> I need to find some way to die I don't know how right now at this point I think it's uh, impossible well if I walk in the general direction of actually moves along obstacles eh. two fly orbitals block projectiles familiars are closer to Isaac Boneheart spawn eh. hitting an enemy in the back does double damage it causes bleeding I mean I don't know I don't know if I can hit them in the back like I'm actually just not sure if that's possible <laughs> oh my god do you have backs do you guys not have backs hello there boss goodbye there boss familiar the bounces around the room uh yeah shadow that follows isaac when it touches when an enemy touches it, it spawns a friendly charger Tears can be controlled in mid-air. I mean, that's cool, but irrelevant right now. Uh, I'll go with the familiar. So now we have Judas's shadow and uh, upside down Judas's shadow. Theoretically, wait, where's my shadow? Where's my? Where's that shadow that's supposedly here? I think that beating the boss gives you all that, all those coins, right? Is that what's happening? I think that's what's happening. Seems to be the case. Who's gonna be the devil? I feel like the devil. I don't know. I'm not watching my status effects because, like, it doesn't really feel like we particularly need to. Is this placenta? Health up, heals red heart. Uh, chance to heal half of a red heart every minute. Bloodshot eye. A. I'll go with I'll go with this. Why not? Familiars are stuck in one spot and can't move. I actively don't want that, but I will probably Familiars orbit around Isaac. Actually? Is it working? Are they doing it? I can't even tell. Because most of them do already. Oh yeah, it is it's working. Like at least it's, they're trying to. They're trying to the most as much as they can. I don't want the duct tape. I might die here. And by that I mean I might turn into Dark Judas and get much stronger than I currently am. All right. Let's fire a shot for the first time in a million years. Okay. Yeah, we got all the black hearts hanging around everywhere. Bloop, bloop, bloop. It also, it seemed like all the hearts just sort of stopped spawning for a while, and now they're spawning again. They kind of like, I don't know if there's some kind of spawn cap for Isaac. Or something, I don't know. 
But if there is, we certainly had to hit it. Oh my. Familiars deal double damage. Seems like a good call. Doubles your number of coins. Oh. We're going to want to use that at like 400. Theoretically. Okay. Well, I mean, theoretically at 519, but... Because it takes away our coins on level up. I'm just going to... I'm going to do it around like 480, 490. I feel like that's just the logical way to not blow everything up. Otherwise, I mean, what's the worst case? So I guess we would just wait for the next time. Oh, we got enemies. Oh, no. Enemies that have uh, armor in the front. Watch out. Okay. I did it, and it didn't quite work how I was hoping. Continuum. Tears can travel through one side of the screen, come out the other. I think we already have that. Taking damage spawns projectile. A projectile blocking orbital. The cap's at three. I mean, I'll go for this. Just for even more chaos. Health up. Sure. I guess I kind of want, like, all red hearts except for one. No. Eh. I don't know. Oh, no. We didn't even use the two of diamonds. Unless we just, like, hacked it somehow. Because I already had a lot of coins. Or maybe, I, you know what it was? I think um, the infinity loop, or whatever the heck it is. Speed up, touching enemies does contact damage. Moving above 0.85 speed makes you do immune to contact damage. Oh, boy. Lucky Penny. Are we moving above 3.5 speed? I'm not sure. Uh. <laughs> I have no idea exactly how this is interacting, but it seems seems better. It's really hard to tell. I feel like I'm getting about a thousand coin or a thousand keys a second. So, carry two trinkets, spawn a random trinket. I mean, that's not that big of a deal. Laser worm shots me down. I guess I don't care. Damage up. Wolf howls in rooms adjacent. I mean, I don't know. Tears leave creep. Creep does damage per second. You know what? I'm going to do this to paint the ground in a better way. I would like to, uh... Oh, it doesn't do it the way I would want. It's le it is leaving creep, but yeah, the creep is it's so temporary. Does this help me see what's going on? No, I don't think so. I would wager about no. Spectral tears, tears up. Whatever. Fire rate up for the left eye only. I feel like I, I feel like I have. I mean, spectral tears aren't piercing tears. Puberty. Rip. I do want. I do wonder how long this goes. Is this? This can't be infinite. Ooh. Okay. I actually I prefer the blood stained floor. Greatly. I would love more of that, please. I don't know what's going on with the money. But it's exploding everything even harder. Bob's brain. Bombs. Bombs stick to enemies. Killing an enemy with a bomb spawns blue spiders. Great. Okay, we're getting to, like, devil enemies now. Does that mean something? 
Maybe? Mayhaps? Have I died before? No, I have not. I still have the times one up by my name. Yeah, some, something happened, like, around when we got uh, faster charging. It seems to have ruined everything in a good way. Eh. Ten bombs. Whatever. Blow me up! Aww. Yeah, like... I'm generating a bunch of coins just, like, over my head immediately. Like, each enemy killed is getting us, like, 20 coins. Where's the boss? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, damage up for each enemy killed in the room. Seems good to me. Again, I'm consistently confused by the fact placing a bomb while shooting fires a rocket. I actually hate that. Killing an enemy spawns a stationary familiar in his place. Oh, caps at five familiars. Still. Still. Why not? Bring it in. All right. The uh, the disgusting color on the ground is shifting a little bit more towards something I can visually parse now. About time. It's been about like 15, 20 minutes of us not being able to see the floor. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. The gray is a lot better. I would say for the mod, like, yeah, just removing the guts component entirely. Not because, like, oh, I'm squeamish, but, oh, because it ruins, like, it just makes it so hard to see anything. Or if it just made it, like, turn the floor into, like, a puddle. Just, like, a big old puddle of blood by the end of it. Oh, my. Yeah, we're getting less enemies spawning, which means, like, it's just taking longer. It's not tougher. Because we got a little bit of this going on. You know, that thing. Oh, Isaac. What gets more broken, Binding of Isaac or Vampire Survivors? It will always be Isaac. Because, <laughs> like, you could say this is the mod, but honestly... These are interactions that are possible in base, Isaac. Hmm. Alas. I'm going to check and see if there's something that says if it ends. <laughs> it says that it finishes after 30 minutes, which... Isn't there, like, a speedrun mode? Is it a timer or something? Uh, hold on. Extra HUD? No. Charge bar. I could have sworn... Yeah, where's the thing to turn on the timer? I know that there can be one. So, I'm, my guess is that I... That blah was me winning, and then it just kind of keeps going. But, like, I didn't get murdered. Maybe I'm too unkillable. Maybe I was supposed to die. I doubt it. But like now it's just it just got easier for me. I will say it's nice seeing like the floor actually get back to normal though. That it's worth it just for that. When did this all go wrong? When did this all go so so wrong? What was the catalyst? I mean honestly Midas Touch probably was the beginning of the end. I'm glad I picked it up. It, at the time, it was like, eh. But then, obviously, it got dumb. The bombs, the immunity, all that. What the hell happened here?
Constellation prize increase your lowest stat. I don't know. Pill? Why not? Doubles your number of coins. I mean, uh, tears up grants a random item at the beginning of your next run. Sure. A little gift to my future self. Health up. Full health. Okay, I kind of want to get back to uh, running into enemies. Seems like it works better for whatever reason. I mean, probably, I do. I know the reason. Like, it looks works better for getting us leveling up faster. Because of the old Midas. Oh, this just... Okay, this is fun. Oh, it was worth it to stay just for this. You get back here! Oh, my God. This is this actually turned satisfying just when I thought I was getting used to it uh 50% chance 50% damage if Isaac has the book of Belial or devil card effect active huh I mean I think I do don't I yeah I do so it counted I technically have that active also, Beelzebub was a, a pretty obvious pickup. It took us... I think it took us a while to really break, but then it was kind of just like, there's no going back. There's no going back. This should be a game right here. It's like herding sheep, but disgusting. What happened to the, uh, the card? Where's the diamonds? Is that around here somewhere? God only knows. Replaces all of your hearts with... No. Uh, speed and range up. So if we hit this and we, like... If we didn't want any of the items, I, we could probably drop it, right? Yeah, I don't know what happened to the card. Whoa! Why did I get sped up so much? Oh, my God. Like, when I'm running in a, in a line, in a straight line for a little while, it seems like it's speeding up even more. Oh my god. It's probably always been doing that, it's just impossible to tell, like, what's happening. I just know that it's been good. Uh, when damage down, uh, yeah, 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 teleport. Damage up, increase knockback, sure. Nothing matters. Nothing matters! <laughs> I mean, like, our tears are incredible as well, obviously. Like, everything is. Yeah, this is a long half hour. <laughs> My only assumption is that when we heard that sound, it was technically a victory. Daddy long legs randomly stomp on enemies. Okay, I just kind of look. Taking damage spawns a charmed enemy. Great. Stronger enemies per each room cleared without taking damage. Well, about that. Okay, what boss are we on? You, I don't recognize. You're like a, you're a different version of that guy that I do recognize. Oh, it's Krampus? Oh, wait, is it Delirium? Well, that should be... something. Did I did it? Nope, there's more. No, I did it! Okay. Oh my god, and the floor cleared back to normal. Beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna tap out. <laughs> that sounds great. Um, what the hell just happened? Uh, man, that was a whole thing and a half. <laughs> it, it's it's very cool. I feel like it's a, it's a tad long, but maybe that was just because of how broken I got so fast. But it's a very cool mod. And I think, like, if what you like about Vampire Survivors games is, style games is to just go brain off and go silly, silly explodo mode... I think this could be a lot of fun for you because Isaac is has always been kind of the pinnacle 
of that, like getting to broken situations where you become unkillable after like a long time of strife. And in this like mod, it's sort of like that strife, that difficult section is pretty small. It's a pretty small percentage of time. Like I know we got lucky and eventually scaled out of control, but you just get so many items that you will eventually uh, get to that point on any run, I would assume. Uh, but alas, alas, that is the hat. That's going to do it here for today. There's a link in the description if you want to check out the mod for yourself. You obviously need uh, Binding of Isaac to check it out. You may or may not need the extra, like, DLCs and stuff. I'm not sure. that On that one, I don't know. But you definitely at least need Isaac uh, to, to do the mod. Duh. But alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it here for today. Uh, check out my channel for roguelikes and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.